What's going on, y'all? Proud of your freedom here with CJ Grisham and Brent McCain doing a little open carry walk here in Waco. See that hat again. Yeah. Ted Nugent signed that sucker. Re-elect that motherfucker with the Nuge on the bill. The Motor City Madman. So we're here. If you guys saw my feed a few weeks back, you'll see that I came to Infamous Inc. They were one of the ones in Waco that took $1,000 per day fines when they stayed open. They told Abbott basically to stick it where the sun doesn't shine and they stayed open. So I see now that they've got the, they've got the tents taken down. They are back in there probably inking people, giving them their ink therapy. Nice. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna go over here and check it out and just wave, wave in there, yeah. <coughs> Brent, you've gotten ink there before, haven't you? I have. Yep, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know he's got ties to Belton, too, he was telling me, so he's uh, he knows a lot of people over there. What's up? Hydrate. It is hot. Yes, it is. Hey, Tracy X. What's going on? Good. They are back going. Anybody in there? Absolutely, man. Saying hi again. Glad y'all are open. <laughs> we came out and did an open carry thing. How y'all doing? Against the rules. Good to see y'all. Absolutely, man. We got to come out here strapped. What y'all do? Like, Just get out here showing that this is normal, man. Yeah. This is normal. Show what good guys with guns look like and stop people from being pussies when they see a gun. They get people to exercise their rights and. Uh, also, make sure that cops recognize that, what our rights are and leave us alone. Yeah. yeah, we come out here before whenever they had all the tents set up here and stuff, and mm -hmm. they were taking the thousand dollar fines. So we're just coming out here, just seeing. That was a, that was about a month, month and a half ago. So we just uh, just coming out here, seeing if anything's changed, and obviously it has. So, what do you know if anything ever happened with the thousand dollar fines? They just took. They just took it. Did they pay them? Do you know? know. You may not even had court yet. Good. I hope they just shredded them. I hope Zach just shredded them. That's what I would yeah. have done. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Talk to you later, bud. Take care. Where you go, gun? Have you been in here? Uh, it's been a while, but yes, I have. Just saying hi. We're out here doing open carry walk. How you doing? Hi. <laughs> Everything going all right? Good. My kind any of lowers, or I mean uppers. Uh, any? Can I come in? Yeah. All right. Uh, uppers, you got? How you doing, I did have a lower. Whew. Actually, I meant upper. I'm sorry. Not, not no, lowers. I have a lower, but not oh, lower. yeah, lower, but not upper. Yep. I have a bolt carrier and a lower. So, guys, this is uh, yeah, like the gun cleaners here in Waco. You guys come see yeah, them. Yeah, you can. I can give you his number, and you can text him. Okay. Let's see if he can get you one, but AR parts are hard to yeah, I know. come by right I'm now. I'm like on a three month wait right now on one I'm building. Yeah. So, okay. But I did have a lower. He occasionally he can't get his hands on some parts, but okay. Um, it's so tough right now. Excellent. All right. Well, I'm going to leave you all alone. Okay. Yes, sir. What are you all out doing? Just doing an open carry walk and trying to educate people about what good guys with guns look like. Awesome. And tell people stop being afraid when they see one. Well, thank you. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. you very much. Y'all take care. You take, take care. Bye-bye. Hello, how are you? I think Brent went into Lone Star Music. Oh, did he? Yeah, I think so. Uh, are they friendly, too? Yep. Apparently. Yeah, yeah, apparently so. Uh, yeah. Oh. Howdy, hey, howdy. Gun cleaners. Gun cleaners, absolutely. Yeah. Greg Holland. Nice to meet you. Greg. Nice to meet you. How you doing, CJ Grisham? Nice to meet you, buddy. Nice to meet you, sir. Yeah. So hey, guys. Good. How are you? Ryan. Greg. Nice to meet you. Nice Ryan. to meet you. Nice to meet you. I want to get bad. some strings. That's a badass. Oh, <laughs> strings. I could probably make it happen. <laughs> yeah, I love Star Wars. So. I got a matching pistol for it too. But really? Yeah, I figured. Nice. That's you know, awesome. the guy that breaks into my house and gets shot with a Star Wars gun is gonna feel really bad. <laughs> Yeah. I, have a, I have a purple guitar because I like a purple lightsaber. So there yeah, you go. awesome. <laughs> cool. Sweet. What's up? You looking for a guitar? No, no. I just uh, 
Uh, just come in here to so see. You guys hey. went to the gun shop, huh? Oh well, we went. We just stopped by there. We went to Hillsboro and then coming over here. Glad to see. Um, what was going on in Hillsboro, man? We're just walking, seeing. I had a I had an incident with one of the cops that he didn't know who I was, and so I was at Taco Bell, and he was, and I had my open carry pistol with me, and he started cops explaining me about open carry and how you know it's stupid and all that kind of stuff, and so he didn't know that I I'm the founder of Open Carry Texas, and so we had a little discussion, but I felt like okay, I'm gonna. I wonder if everyone in Hillsboro feels like this, because he also said that that was the dumbest law that we ever passed, and it wasn't needed, and all that kind of stuff. So we we just went to see how they would react to people who were lawfully armed, and no issues. Actually, we went right up to the police department and tried to use their soda machine right there outside their front door, and and mm -hmm. cop came up and tried to give us change because it wasn't taking dollar bills. Judge and his secretary out to talk to us too. Zero issues. Yeah, nothing. So just just that one cop, I guess, that was probably didn't wasn't thinking straight. But. <laughs> Happens. Yeah, it yeah. Happens. that's for sure. <laughs> I, like I said, I'm all pro gun, pro Second Amendment. Are you next door? Pro open carry. Huh? You're next door here. The no, gun shop. No, no, that's just those oh. guys are buddies of mine. Oh, okay. Oh. But yeah, I've had concealed <laughs> hang the concealed license ever since they came out with up until about a year ago. I didn't renew them for the first time, um, which I probably will again, I guess, even though I don't really have to. Well, and now it's only forty bucks. Uh -huh. Now it's only forty bucks instead yeah. of one hundred and forty. Yeah. And we're really? we're fighting to get rid of the license altogether, make it voluntary. You shouldn't have to have it. But yeah. 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 I mean, I can carry this without a license. Why can't I carry my pistol without a license? It makes no sense. Yeah. Zero sense. Only problem I got with the open carry, buddy. If I'm a bad guy and you're there with the gun, you're my first target. Yeah, if that were true, most criminals actually, when they see a gun, go look for a soft target. They're not going to mess with you. Uh, so I, I was in law enforcement for 16 years, and the mentality of, of the, uh, the criminal element is cowardice. And so if they see the gun... So that it's a deterrent. It's a deterrent, yeah. They see a gun, they're going to go somewhere else. So, uh, and heck, if I'm, the, uh, if I'm the first target, so be it. That's the, that's the risk I'm willing to take. Let somebody with a conceal be the hero. But I, I'm a former first sergeant, so I can't be killed. <laughs> you still got the shield on you around you. I'm, yeah. I'm prestige in Call of Duty. There's no way they're getting me. <laughs> uh, you guys got bulletproof vest? Uh, we do. Yeah. Not not today. But yeah. Yeah. So my buddy that just left out of here has got the bulletproof vest that completely revolutionized the whole industry. Really? Oh, yeah? Yeah. I've got two types. I've got a, a concealable one that's up to a 357 Magnum as well as knife. This will stop a 50 cal. I have Jeez. a different one like that. Yeah. Man. It only weighs 13 pounds. So it'll stop Jeez. the bullet, but it'll still knock you 50 feet back. Oh, yeah. I said, well, <laughs> like this particular Captain one Marvel actually takes all the energy. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, like the guy the hopefully it'll knock you out of like his range. He thinks like he disintegrated you. Water. Yeah. 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 Exactly. It's, also, it's, it disperses the energy of it. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, they're about three grand a piece. Well, that's that's above my pay grade. And they take yeah. multiple shots. Holy yeah. crap! In fact, Ted's on board with them right now. Yeah. And they're trying to. Yeah, I mean, it's like this. Well, the government did what do you call it back, re, reverse engineering, and tried to steal this guy's thing that he had, and it fell through. But. Uh, no, they're already setting up here making them, dude. The government it's stole like trying to steal something from a citizen? Come on. Yeah. What? <laughs> you don't say. Yeah. Well, the only reason that burglary is a crime is because the government hates competition. Yeah. <laughs> they want to yeah. be the first ones on the scene to steal it. Yeah. <laughs> Man. All right. Let's do some I walking. Just, yeah. See so many people, including that gentleman there. Bless his heart. Oh, man. Yeah. Wearing a mask because he's scared. I haven't worn one yet. Live in Bell County. Haven't worn one yet. No. Although if I did have to wear one, I'd wear one like Brent's here. Uh, his couple of masks. Oh, the Trump you mask. Got one of them. No. Fuck you, Abbott. <laughs> Fuck you, King Abbott. Fuck you, King Abbott. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. See, that's the other reason I open carry. COVID's afraid of me. It won't come near me. <laughs> We're exempt. Yeah. You know, you all I, in fact, I had two good friends of mine that are been teaching MCC for over 50 years each today. Very close friends came in with their mask, and uh, I'm just like, and I expect them to. I mean, they're kind of high risk, in maybe in the middle 
as far as not far left by any means, but not far right. But they're still like, they still believe it. Mm. Well, if you're an at-risk person, I understand, you know, and heck, I would probably wear a mask a but little bit But if you're an at-risk person and the flu is going around, yeah, you need to wear a mask. exactly. <laughs> it, that's the point. Or if you've got the flu, wear a mask. Wear a mask. If you're protesting, <laughs> you don't have to wear a mask. You're protesting. Yeah. Been yeah. proven. That's because right. that's important. That's more important than going to church, whatever else. Walmart, Academy, yeah. wherever. All right. Evidently procreating. <laughs> wear a mask. I believe yeah, it will go away by the end mask, of the election. Yeah, November 5th. Why is it away. not wiped out the homeless population? I have no idea. They don't got, you know, prostitutes. You know, what the hell's going on here? Well, to be know. honest with you, a lot of the homeless population probably has a better immune system than the other population. <laughs> well, you're right about that. American Airlines. Uh, and they didn't tell you anything. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. They made you put a mask on? Well, put a mask on. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Ron's 22 years old and he sees through the bullshit. All right. Better. So good future. Woke at such a young age. I just want to listen to music. I just want to blare my music really loud. Yep. I wish I was talented enough to play music. But it gives you hope. But out of your circle of friends, how many feel like you do? I mean, no. I mean, we don't want to talk about politics that much. I mean, that's all, the third rail. Bro, we're all broke and trying to make it as musicians. We don't fucking care. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just I'm, trying, to, I'm trying to play shows. Like, if I can't play shows, then I'll get upset, but which, I don't give a damn. Which everybody's about to be and is upset over right now. Yeah. 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 We're not, Thanks to King Abbott. Our man right? Up there in Florida, so. I think King Abbott just driving some nails in his own coffin right now. He must not be wanting to get, you know, uh, stay I, on I, the I'd throne it, anymore. To see, uh, here... Lexi and y'all play again. Man, Man she blew, blew some, some of them, that Led Zeppelin song out of the park. Yeah, dude, we had it all set up. You know, she was going to be doing the deal July 31st. Mm-hmm. So is it true you're not supposed to play Stairway to Heaven in a music shop? This is true. If you do it, I will shoot you in the knee. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll loan you. So. Yeah, please. You can get a, you can get a permit for Freebird. You get a, right? got to just get a permit. $500. Five hundred, and you get the permits oh, yeah. here, right? Nice. Yeah. Nice. Okay. All right. We'll give you the rights here. <laughs> <laughs> you ready to walk? Yeah. Let's All right. Walk. Hey, guys, guys. Have a good one. Y'all take care, easy. guys. Good to see you. Good to see you, man. Thank you. All right, y'all too. See y'all later. Thanks. All right, guys. <laughs> Lone Star Music here. If you uh, this guy over here that owns this, you're all with. Is he? Really? All customers. He's closed. Requires uh, all they, customers. They, they is that where you got your hat from? Yep. That guy? Oh, okay. Yes. He's so, like he's like Ted's local agent. So Ted, could, well, now this place used to be somewhere else, wasn't it? No, it was there. It was down on Franklin. For down on Franklin Valley Mills. Oh, oh, right over here is yeah, where I'm thinking. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Now, Ted, he, shoot, there were some videos that he had, when he was in here. Yeah. Doing, well, it was across the street when I saw the videos. So I went to, twice I went to a guitar workshop with Ted over here, about eight people. Who sat across the street. You play guitar? I try. Uh, <laughs> I played I, I bass back that. when I was in high school. I had a little two-person band. Me and a buddy. Back out walking, guys. Yes, it is. Guns on the yes, other side? yes. Ah, absolutely. Walk into traffic, yeah. Do we do like Antifa and we block traffic? Or? No, <laughs> then we'll end up being like that one broad in, C- oh. in Seattle. She got flipped. Yeah. She, she got flipped. I love seeing Antifa acrobatics. <laughs> I mean, if Ringling Brothers was still around, she'd have a job. Yeah. And if she was around. All right, we got a button here. Oh, we're walking. We can walk that way if we want to. 
Which way you want to walk? Yeah, Alright. Uh -oh. Is that a middle finger? Huh. I think that thing's flipping us the bird. I, I think the next thing uh, BLM said they're coming after is the racist little walking man. Yeah, it's the white walking man? Yes. Quite frankly, I, I think the uh, the sexist manhole covers need to go. Oh, they need to be person hole covers. That's right. You get rid of all master Oh, and you can't call it masturbating anymore. No. Need a lawyer? Call Vic Fazell. You know, I had no idea who that dude was until I read that book. Dude. Which one? Like No, black. Well, it was about that. Black robe. It's, black uh, robe fever. Black robe fever. Yeah, is the book. Yep, I've been done with that book. I need to get that back to you so you can get it to Rayford. Yeah, the, still has the largest, largest, uh, uh, was it civil lawsuit win and. United States history. There's a, apparently there's a Netflix documentary about it. Scott was telling me about it. Really? Yeah. out here walking down uh, Valley Mills now guys coming across a little bit of traffic here just wondering who's calling the cops three white supremacists walking with rifles machine guns try to shame us about our quote-unquote racist past when it was the British that brought slaves here yeah um, it, and not only that we've had a black president when have they had a black king or queen and you know what they would trade the what would they trade the blacks for rum and molasses I mean come on their current system will there ever be a black king or queen is there even a chance you know in america at least the black person has a chance to become president yeah there's no chance Dude. under their system zero for a black person to become a king or queen. zero chance and they have the uh, audacity to lecture us megan markle has the audacity to say that we're racist yeah what's happening boys armed nazis <laughs> Chris says hey, we're thank you, armed. Uh, Boda Bob, appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> hey, we got a pizza. Someone, someone bought us a pizza. Nice. So someone, Chris called us armed. Those damned armed Nazis. Oh yeah. Is that a, is that an ambulance? Oh yeah, it's yep. Yeah. I tell that siren.
scripture and issue citations for those that wish to not acknowledge your kindness and uh, <coughs> edicts. Correct. King so, Abbott's decrees. In other words, if you believe you're free, they'll teach you a lesson. That is correct. So we're here to be taught a lesson, Waco. Hey, everything, thank you. You shall not be free unless he That's or she insane. tells you you are free. It's kind of bright out here. So uh, Waco thinks that uh, they can force me to put a piece of cloth on my face. We think to differ. Is that the mayor, Adam? Kyle Deaver, he's the mayor? Correct. Okay. Yeah, Adam Adam would know. He's a Waconian, I think. Well, Mayor Deaver, here I am. Hey, Mayor Deaver, suck my balls. Oh, he's an attorney as well? You think he'd know better then, but unfortunately too many attorneys don't believe in the Constitution. Dude, if you switch to be a total scumbag, oh man, shoot! I'm not gonna be your friend. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've convinced me. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be your friend. If, if I become, if I become as an attorney a complete scumbag, then just put a bullet in my head. You have permission. <laughs> oh man, this, this is. I'm gonna have to screenshot that to Emily. It's right here. It's on. It's, it's, on, it's on your on live video. Everybody's a witness right now. I've got. Well, at least, she, at, at least she's already got you replaced with a 305-pound dude offering her a grand. That's, that's true. That's true. She's already got offers on the table. Dude, that's awesome. So she's already got a dude, 200 pounds more, and he's got a little bit of scratch in his pocket. It's probably COVID cash. That's right. From his mommy. For, for the purposes of my stream here, <laughs> my, my wife sent me a screenshot. Some dude on Instagram sent her a message saying how beautiful she is and uh, he'd like her to be his sugar baby and he'll pay her a thousand dollars a week to do that so she sent me the screenshot and I sent him a message back she's like she's like you need to go screw with this guy so I said uh why are you contacting my wife with such a low ball offer she's worth at least 2500 a week <laughs> so, offer 2500 and, and we can talk. <laughs> so, I sent the screenshots to my wife. I don't think that's what she meant by I need to go and mess with this guy. She, she called me an asshole, I think. Something like that. Be like, babe, do you know how many comic books we can get for that? How much ammo? Oh my God. <laughs> hey, for 2500 bucks a week, I'll be someone's sugar baby. I'll, I'll send little pictures of my, my micro penis. Or if you saw Jack Miller's latest video, he ran into an old girlfriend at Sam's Club and he offered to, he, she's a cop now, San Antonio pig. Uh -huh. And she was a pig at the Sam's Club. She was, a, I guess, contracted. And he offered to lick her boots. And he said, we could do another video like we did to the one video. You remember that one, right? Uh -huh. and, and then it cut, it cut out because he said it was just a premiere. He's going to upload the rest of it later. Nice. Dang, I got 2600 a week for my micro penis pics in the chat. Dude, between you and David of Mod's naked shotgun bandolier autograph <laughs> pictures, man, you guys could clean up for OCT, man. Uh, why do you think I carry this big giant rifle? I've got to, you know, compensate me for something. I mean, that's what they keep telling me. It serves as a flashlight. You know, when you say something enough, it becomes truth. So uh, it's I'm pretty sure. We'll get up to the next stoplight, then we'll cross over and we'll go back the other way down the down the sidewalk. Where'd the sidewalk go? Ah, it, it's gone. Where's the sidewalk? Yeah. There's a guy that's running for, I believe, I believe, I don't know if it's county commissioner or what he's doing, but his name's Bob Cervanka. I know him personally. He's a pretty good guy, Republican, and he 
loves his freedom. So you should check out into him, see if you're eligible to vote for him. I don't know if he's in your precinct or what, but he's a good guy. Yeah, they, they've been informed. I mean, uh, they just held a press conference about the fact that the police are going to start this mask stuff. And here we are, we're less than six feet apart from each other. Oh, man. So uh, you're required to wear the mask in public if you're not maintaining six feet. We're, uh, we're making sure we're close enough that oh, no, yeah. kick that right down here. Somebody's gonna get their Someone's gonna get their tires popped. I think behind that one GMC. I don't know if they hit them or what. Yeah, it is. What's going on? Well done. Good. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, they appear to be all right. So we take advantage with Brent when we get him around because he's he's always gone working, guys. So. We like to get him out here whenever we can. This is our first walk together, so we like to get out and do some stuff. If you guys go, if you guys aren't already following, CJ Grisham, Open Carry Texas, Brent McCain. Go follow those pages. Hit the like, subscribe, and share if you don't mind. Ropey, check you out, dude. What's going on, man? That's a great question because there's no crosswalk up there and there's no crosswalk there's only crosswalks on the short sides we just have to cross we just, yep here let's just cross here it's like no one coming down this way that's weird i think we scared everyone <laughs> Give that to him. What did he say? say? I have no idea. Yelled something. I think he said freedom. I'll say, I'll say he said freedom. Yeah, he said freedom. Maybe he said nice ass when you bent over. That could have been it. So anyway, law school's going well. I'm uh, I'm doing really well. And uh, I can prove it because
Yeah. The red lights means they're silent. Yeah. Oh, we have somebody that's scared to ride alone in their vehicle without a mask. Palacio all up on his shit. Special Ed on that kid. I think he's compensating for not having a gun. <laughs> he's just pissed his mom didn't let him take his gun today. Yeah. Yeah, it is pretty damn bright. Yeah, I get impressed when people do that as well. You know, when people uh, really rev their engine and take off really loud, I have an orgasm. <laughs> so it's kind of embarrassing because people think I pissed my pants. Micro orgasms for the micro beam. Yes, yeah, but it's a micro orgasm, so it's not so bad. That's awesome. That's our intent. That's, That's what we're trying to do. Is excellent. <laughs> yep. Absolutely. Take care. Have a good one. That was cool. She come out and said, I didn't even notice the guns you guys were carrying. And all three of us are carrying AR-15s. It's just the the light. It's right on the screen. <laughs> Uh, they just eventually started chatting. They just started popping up to the left. Ken Grant was saying we should plan on doing a uh, Gatesville open carry walk out there. I don't yeah. know if he was having issues or something out there. I said, well, CJ's done walks out or done bike rides well, out there. I did a bike ride out there, but remember, they called out the entire force on 11 me. of them surrounded yeah. you. They had 11 freaking cops around me, including the sheriff himself. And didn't they admit they knew who you were and you still didn't ID? I mean, you didn't have to. They knew who you were. And they tried to tell you where you went. Yeah. They were, they were, it was like they were asking you, but telling you where you went that it was too close to a school. And you're like, no. <laughs> and the whole reason I went through the neighborhood was to avoid being in a school zone. Yeah. And even though I could have been in a school zone. Right. So it took them 30, and the only reason they found me was because I had stopped to uh, change my music on my bike. Yes, I'm free on Saturday, Tracy X. So here's a. Uh, I have to check with my wife though. So here's here's a little. Quirk. Or if you want to ask her if I'm free. When I do my bike rides, uh, especially if it's in a place that I'm not familiar with.
those federal laws don't apply. You can, I mean, technically, unless there's a state law, you can technically like walk right into a school. Now in Texas, you can't. Uh, you can walk right up to the front door and not violate the law, the federal law. Um, but so I always carry uh, when I do my bike rides, I always carry either my Legion Arms or my Blackjack Arms rifle because. If I accidentally wander into a school zone, they, they still can't get me. Now, they'll probably stop me because they have reasonable suspicion. There's a guy with a gun in a school zone. Um, and all I'll do is I'll show them that my gun was made in Texas. And it doesn't apply. So it's like, now, that doesn't mean I won't get arrested for it. Of course, I'll have to go to court and you know, get a dick. Some guy just wants to see probably have to go to court, but you'll win at court because the law is very clear. There's already been, as a matter of fact, the law was challenged back in 73 or 74, I think. Uh, this, the Gun Free School Zone Act was challenged because it was unconstitutional. And so what they did was they rewrote the law. Assault the life. Sound like a muffler may be needed. Let me to tell you when you're off the air about okay. radio and McDonald's. Okay. Uh, uh, all right. What's up? I was saying, remind me to tell y'all when we're off the air about radio and McDonald's. Oh, okay. No, nothing. Not one cop. I am. I'm really, really surprised. Jeez, now we got freaking light poles telling us what to do. <laughs> Wait. essentially just the same wording of what is in the Constitution. But the purpose of it was to ensure that the states didn't create confiscatory taxes against other states um, and to make sure that uh, free trade... Hey, well, let's let this guy get in. How you doing? How's it going, man? <laughs> you look hot, too. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. What y'all doing? We're just doing a out showing what good guys with guns look like and try to uh, help encourage people not to be afraid of guns and exercise their rights because the government, you know, they're trying to kill us left and right, so we need to defend ourselves. And the only way to defend yourselves is by exercising your Second Amendment rights peacefully and it keeps the government in check. Sure. Yeah. All right, brother. Uh, Stay safe. safe. when I went to the legislature when open carry wasn't legal. Brent, there's your mask right there, there man. Right. <laughs> yeah, but it might have lice in it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I can't, uh, is this an undercover or is this a former? I think it's 
was a former. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I carried a, a toy pistol, a fake pistol, to make a point at the legislature. Um, so I did it for, for uh, activism reasons. And of course, I got arrested for having a toy gun back in November of uh, 2013. And the only reason I took a toy gun that day was because my attorney begged me. They're still waiting on my, my temple uh, court date. And still Begging got arrested. To, uh, Shit. Tried to introduce it in evidence. But the, uh, the judge didn't allow it. But she had fun berating the shit out of him the entire time. Yeah. That's about the only good decision the judge made was not allowing them to use that at my trial. back and do it over again, I'd go back and do the trial again, and I would testify, instead of not testifying. Oh, the temple? Yeah. That's the only thing I'd do differently. I wouldn't I wouldn't do anything else differently. I wouldn't even, like, change my route so I didn't get arrested. I, I wouldn't mind getting arrested. The only thing I would do differently would be... Uh, so what was the reason for not testifying in your own trial? Well, because we thought it... So a lot of times, you don't want the defendant to testify, because they have to prove their case. Well, I can understand in a murder trial. Yeah. But we thought that, well, and it was, the case was so simple and so obvious, I didn't need to, to, to testify. Yeah. Because there, I was breaking no laws, uh, and, and since they changed it up anyway, that's, see, that's the mistake that we made. When they went and changed everything up and decided they were going to use this pretext of walking down the wrong side of the road, that's when... You know, we probably should have changed our strategy, but right. we thought it was such a slam dunk case because it was so obvious that I wasn't doing anything wrong. Yeah. So there's no reason to be arrested. All right, we got to cross here. No. Oh. Um, that we didn't need to testify. Yeah. Just so, just so dumb. Just Temple, just such morons. Shitty sounding Camaro has paper plates. I sure hope they're test driving it. <laughs> and I sure hope they're not wearing hearing aids. Well, uh, this walk went well as well. Yeah, two, two for two. Uh-oh. Don't, let's say, don't get out, don't get in front of that man trying to get his chicken. That dude wasn't playing games. Yeah, well, and keep in mind, when you go to court as a defendant, uh, you're not trying to do it. They're, they're supposed to try and prove your guilt. And by the time the prosecution was done, we honestly didn't think they proved their guilt um, at all. And that's one of the reasons why we were like, eh, it doesn't matter. You know, we don't need to get up there and... Because I'll tell you what, the prosecutor had a... Guys, it, another... It must have been four-inch thick binder with my name on it. <laughs> and if I'd have gotten on the stand, he'd have brought up every single thing I'd ever said in my in history of my life. Everything I'd ever... How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Everything's wonderful. Excellent. Good. Yes, yes sir. sir. So guys, another so successful walk here. That thick packet that they had. Um, that they would have used. If so I we are going to go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, I'm sure they would have thrown everything at me, gone after me for all kinds of things. Going to go get us some water um, but and head on back home. Anyway, so thanks for joining us.